put my all into this. You know what I'm saying? Like, to everything I got, every 24 hours I get going to this. I done seen so much so quick, like, in the streets, just dealing with my bros, like, hoes, like, all of Like, I should have broke my heart, but, like, I ain't quit, though. In 2017, we had a massive entrance into the rap scene with the release of Perfect Timing, a mixtape by American rapper Lil Baby. Since then, he has had a steady rise to fame, becoming one of the most prominent figures in the world of rap music. But how much do we really know about this 26-year-old Atlanta superstar? You're about to find out. Today, we will be talking about 8 things you never knew about Lil Baby. Before we dive into this video, make sure to leave a like if you're a fan of Lil Baby and you would like to join this month's giveaway of a brand new iPhone 11, then all you have to do is subscribe to the channel and watch this video until the end to find and comment to hit a message. Good luck! Number 8. He got his name from being teased. Lil Baby was born on December 3rd, 1994 and named Dominique Jones. So how did he get Lil Baby? Well, he got it from being teased by the older kids he loved to hang around with when he was as little as 10 years old. To be fair, these people didn't exactly have the best influence in his life, apart from the name that we know today. When he was hanging out with them, Lil Baby would ignore calls from his mother. Eventually, she would go to check up on him. This made the older friends call him a baby whose mom was always checking on him, and it stuck. Another thing that stuck from hanging around with that group was his lean addiction, which started when he was 12 years old. He was so addicted that he spent as much as $20,000 a month just to have them before he finally killed the addiction. Number 7. He went to jail when he was 12 years old. Raised by a single mother and living with his two sisters, Lil Baby never had his dad around while struggling with poverty. Then he came back home from school one day to see his family being evicted from their home, and that was all the motivation he needed to get a lot of money, even through illegal means. So he gambled, sold drugs, and robbed people to get some serious cash. But get this, he hadn't even hit puberty yet. Lil Baby got into a life of crime and lean addiction so early that he found himself in jail for the first time at the age of 12. According to the famous rapper, he had to spend 10 days in juvenile detention for burglary or attempted robbery. But getting in jail didn't stop him from getting back to the hood life. He was so deep in the illegal hustle that he was in and out of jail so many times. Finally, he was locked up at 18 and his lawyer was able to get him into a special program. All he had to do was spend about six months and he would be out. But Lil Baby at that time was every bit the delinquent. He got into a fight with some older white racists and got sent to a standard penitentiary. However, it was during those two years at the penitentiary that he began to think differently. Number 6. Young Thug Paid Him to Leave the Hood We know Lil Baby grew up in one of the toughest neighborhoods in Atlanta. However, this is also the same neighborhood that housed co-founders of quality control music Kevin Lee, known mostly as Coach K, and Pierre P. Thomas. However, one person that influenced Lil Baby so much is his lifelong friend, Jeffrey Lamar Williams, who he went to grade school with as they grew up in the same neighborhood. Who is Jeffrey Lamar Williams? We are talking about our very own Young Thug. They were close buddies who went to a lot of places together, swimming or just hanging out. Then Lil Baby started going to the studio with him. Young Thug had convinced him to visit the studio where he made a little song and put it on a clip on his Instagram page. But then, the American rapper and songwriter didn't stop there. He told Lil Baby that he had the talent and would pay him to leave the hood. Well, we know Lil Baby took the deal as he went on to release a lot of cool songs with him, including Bad 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 from Thug's album and being featured alongside Gunna in OOK. Number 5. Favorite Food is Hot Wings Lil Baby is crazy about hot wings and believes that Atlanta's best ones are at the West End Mall. So every day he heads over to this mall where he meets a lady he calls his mom. She's been working there since Lil Baby was actually a baby and sells the hot wings just how he likes them. This is with both lemon pepper and milk sauce. Now this is not lemon pepper sprinkles but a combination of both sauces. We can only imagine what his hot wing bill would be like every single month. Number 4. He's crazy about icebox. Anyone knows this rapper would see that he loves his jewelry. Lil Baby has an extensive jewelry collection with ice chains, ice to love, figurine pendants, and rings worth as much as a million dollars. He even has one with a picture of his two kids, which he wears everywhere. He moves around with his Icebox travel kit because of how much this is, and of course, his favorite jeweler is Icebox. He visits the store at least once every week. Number 3. He wears a different watch every day. Most of us have items that remind us of the start of something good in our lives. It could be that first car you leave hanging around or an item you picked up during your first vacation to Paris. 
Well, for Lil Baby, it's his first watch, which he calls the start of baby. But his wristwatch collection is so much that he can wear a different watch every day. Now for Lil Baby, who actually wears one on each wrist, we're talking about more than 400 watches. Can you believe that? His first watch is a regular Rolex, but worked on it so much, adding diamonds piece by piece, that it is actually one of the most expensive watches in his collection. Lil Baby doesn't plan on getting rid of it even when he moves on to wearing Richard Milley watches next year. Number 2. Gunna Taught Him How to Rap Gunna has a huge influence on Lil Baby that runs deeper than friendship. It was Gunna who picked up the pen first. When Lil Baby got close to him, Gunna tried to convince the young man to take up hip-hop as well. However, his guidance didn't exactly follow the usual route. Instead, Lil Baby paid Gunna as much as $100 to write songs for him. He would then rap them and record it. That was the practice routine that continued until Lil Baby was able to stand on his own. The pair went on to deliver an impressive mixtape in 2018 titled Drip Harder. Fans around the world could feel the chemistry between the rappers as they sang. If Gunna and Lil Baby told us that they were family, we wouldn't think twice about believing them. They're that close. Number 1. Lil Baby and Outkast went to the same high school. Not many people know this, but Lil Baby studied at Tri-Cities High School at East Point, Georgia. But here is where it gets a little more interesting. Legendary hip-hop duo Outkast attended this same high school. This duo of Big Boy and Andre 3000 put Atlanta on the map in the 90s with their fantastic lyrics and melody. Lil Baby is obviously a massive fan as he speaks highly of them and even wants a collaboration if they ever get back together. Now that's something we would love to see. No doubt about it, Lil Baby is that cool rapper who has had an exciting life and has the potential to be one of the top rappers in history. And that brings us to the end of today's list. Which of these facts is the most interesting to you? Are there any others that you think deserve a spot on this list? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Also, don't forget to leave a like on this video if you are a big fan of Lil Baby. And if you are new to this channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button for all future content. Thanks for watching. Until next time.